The Big East's Big 3-0 was a memorable finale for Louisville. Three decades of tourney dancing in the Big Apple. 30 years of unforgettable teams and hardwood legends at the world's most famous arena. The championship club welcomed the 2012 chapter Saturday night at Madison Square Garden, celebrating 30 years of the Big East title game, as Louisville and head coach Rick Pitino won a defensive slugfest 50-44, topping Cincinnati in the finale. The late Dave Gavitt, the man behind the Big East rise to prominence in 1979, and the conference's first commissioner, was on the mind of Patino as the legendary head coach stood at center court and reflected on his 10th conference crown and 27 seasons of college hoops. We're all here today. We're all enjoying great basketball because of that man. So we want to honor his You can cry. You can think about him. But there's only one way to handle a man of that stature is to celebrate his legacy by doing the right things. And John Marinato and the Big East have done all the right things for Dave Gavitt's legacy. I know that you knew Mr. Gavitt as well. To have this year be in memory of him, 30 years of the Big East, and then have it end like this with Coach Patino at the top. It's, uh, it's fate, just the way it should be. That's the way he would want it, and uh, worked out for, for great for everyone. Gavitt, who died in September, would have enjoyed the tenacious defense that was on display in Saturday's title tilt. It was the fewest points scored in the final 16 less than the previous mark, set in 1992 between Syracuse and Georgetown. It's a defensive struggle, obviously. Uh, proud of our team, we played very well. Uh, we stuck together and had a great game. To see Coach Patino do this tonight, and obviously you've had a great year at Manhattan. Special for you? Yeah, unbelievable. Coach is well-deserved. Uh, been a great year for them to come in and win the toughest conference arguably in college basketball and win this weekend. I'm just so happy for these guys and Coach Patino. Chris Smith, a former Manhattan standout and New Jersey product, scored 15 points to lead the defensive-minded Cardinals. The senior guard stole the limelight of the Gardens glare from his older brother, newest New York Nick J.R. Smith, for one night. For him to be able to see me play, this is the first time he got to see me play all year. And you know, in the championship when we got it done. It's unbelievable, you know. Being a Nick now, and uh, I mean, seeing my brother do it here at home at the Garden, the guy really works in mysterious ways. Louisville playing in its third straight title game hoisted the crown again, like it did in 2009, while also putting the game's MVP on their shoulders for the world to see. Just for you personally, is this the realization of every dream you've ever had? I never thought this would happen in a million years, and I'm just so grateful for it. You know, it just really shows the, the power of the Big East, and uh, just got to be thankful for it.